Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing my uh, pickups for this past week. Uh, this one actually came out last week, but uh, I decided to wait a week before I picked it up because that was the only title I had that came in last week. And that, coincidentally, uh, this week is, I only had one title come in. It's the uh, one that the issue that came right after this one. So uh, let's just go through my pull or my uh, haul list here. Uh, first up, we got Night Owl. Uh, just the basic origin story. Pretty much everything we really already knew. So, but I'm still enjoying this. Before Watchmen, uh, I stopped reading the original Watchmen. I was rereading the whole thing, and so I'm just gonna wait till this is all over, and then I'll read it again. So, <coughs> and the artwork in here is pretty, pretty dang good. Andy Kubert and Joe Kubert's work here. So. Next up is uh, Ozymandias' uh, Four Watchmen issue. Uh, believe it or not, this is my probably my favorite issue out of all of them so far. Uh, the Jay Lee's artwork in here is my favorite so out of all the uh, Four Watchmen's and just his whole story about him coming over from uh, World Europe from World War II. Uh, <coughs> And just leading up to how his training and stuff like that, and all his business decisions. It's it's really good. I recommend this one. It, when it first when it first started coming out, I this was the least issue, uh, of all the issues I was uh, least interested in. It ended up being one of my favorite ones so far. So that's that. Next up. Batman Incorporated, uh, issue number two. Uh, just an origin story of how Damien became to be. Came to be. Uh, Raza Ghoul's in this. You know, I'm, I'm. That's one of my favorite villains. Top five Batman villains or nemesis. Uh, so that's that one. And a couple weeks ago, I was just looking for new titles, and so I just uh, picked up a couple random ones and one that was suggested to me. So I picked up this one wasn't suggested. This was just one I picked up because I thought the cover was pretty cool. Uh, it's called Haunt. I haven't really read through it at all too much. So that's the one I didn't, these next three I haven't really read. So I'm interested to see how that one turns out. If anybody has any. Uh, comments about that those issues that are coming up, these next three issues, just put it down below. And I picked these all for a dollar just because you know, I figured I'd give them a try. If I liked them I'd like them. If not not really nothing really to worry about, so I picked up Fatal number four. I just thought that cover was cool. So it's number four, like I said, so I'm probably going to be lost a little bit on this, these issues, but that's all right. And a cool back cover there, too. There we go. This was suggested to me by a couple people. Animal Man, Animal Man issue eight. It's actually part two of a story, so but I picked it up for a dollar. It was in the dollar bins, I figured, but uh, I was thumbing through it a little bit. I read a little bit of a couple of pages. Yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty intense, actually. So I might uh, try issue seven and nine, and see what that how it goes. And lastly, uh, you know, I couldn't. Couldn't leave a Green Lantern uh, laying on the table there. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, issue 38 of the uh, volume four. So I'm getting a pretty nice collection of that that series. Uh. Okay, guys, uh, that's all my uh, picks for this week. Uh, 
or my pickups for this week. Next week I should have quite a few more books than this week. I've been getting pretty big hauls lately, but this week I'm just taking a little bit easier. I'll just stick with these six or seven books that I picked up. Okay, have a good weekend. Talk to you later.